Hey everybody, this is Eric from Breakout Creative Company. Uh, visit our blog online at breakout.co slash B-L-O-G. All that is lowercase. Um, this tutorial is a really quick one just to show you how to create a print-ready image for screen printing or for paper printing. Um, and this is how to do it on Photoshop. A lot of people have Photoshop. They they somehow get Photoshop, uh, hopefully legally, but a lot of people have Photoshop. And I know a lot of people want to know, okay, I want to get something printed, I want to get a shirt printed. All these companies tell me I need to have these certain types of files, these certain types of files. Um, this is what I would like to have if, if somebody came and brought me a file to my company. Um, this is the minimum resolution and quality I would want to have myself to get a good print out of a t-shirt. So I'm going to show you how to create this canvas and how to do that on Photoshop. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to begin by selecting file at the upper left hand corner. Okay? And I'm sure you already know how to do this. You want to go to file and you want to go to new because you want to create a new canvas. So here's where a lot of people get confused. They say, okay, um, you know, they come over here to this pixels box and perhaps you already know you want to change this to inches. So people say, well, I want my image to be, let's say, 13 inches wide um, by 13 inches tall. Okay? But the trick is you want, to, you want to set your resolution higher than just 72 because 72 is the default uh, resolution for, say, um, an internet image or something used for the web. It's just easier and it's smaller to be shown on a uh, computer screen, but we don't want to show on a computer screen. We want to create something that's good for printing purposes, something that just has a little bit more detail and just comes out better on a shirt, not on a computer screen. So what we want to do is we want to change this resolution from 72 up to 300 um, pixels per inch, or sometimes you'll hear it being called DPI for dots per inch, but basically resolution needs to be set at 300. Um, again, your width um, being set at inches, not pixels anymore, but at inches, needs to be as wide as you want your print to be on the shirt. Um, and your height, the same thing. So again, we're just creating a blank canvas at 13 inches wide and 13 inches tall in 300 DPI or 300 pixels per inch resolution. Um, once we hit OK, here you have your canvas and you can go ahead and start creating from scratch your image. So from here you could use the text um, the text tool. I just clicked on it and um, selected to change the color to black. But anyway, I'm just showing you this real quick. Um, so, you know, my logo like this, okay? You've got your text tool. You're, you're creating something right now on a canvas of 300 DPI so that when I zoom in right here and get real close, See how these lines are staying pretty, you know, pretty pretty good looking for the most part, especially when I go to ac actual pixels. They look very clean, and when I come to get them in my shop, I can translate that into a clean print. Um, what I don't like is when people go to the internet and they'll take a, uh, a lower resolution image, say like this cat, right? Let's say I copy this, okay? And then I paste it onto this canvas. See how small that is? It looked really big when I went to the website and pulled it up, but as soon as I paste it on my 300 resolution um, canvas, it looks really small. And so people think, well, I can take this image and I can stretch it like this, and I can use this image on my t-shirt because, hey, I'm putting it on a 300 resolution canvas, but really all you're doing is you're taking a low resolution image and you're stretching it. So as I zoom in here, it gets more pixelated. See how it looks pixelated? There's no clean lines. You see some distortion around the outside of the image. And that doesn't really translate to a good print. And it makes it very hard for me as someone who does separations to take this and separate the colors. So I highly suggest you either find very high resolution images if you want to use images from the internet or create your images from scratch using the basic tools in Photoshop. So anyway, this was just a quick tutorial to kind of give you an idea on how to create uh, a high resolution um, canvas for printing um, if you brought your you know artwork over to Breakout Creative Company. Um, also, you know what I didn't talk about is what you would do when you save. Um, there's a lot of different options. We take a lot of different image types um, when you bring them to us. You could save it as a PSD for the most part, but I don't highly recommend it. Honestly, if you want to bring me a file, I wouldn't mind getting a really high resolution JPEG file. Make sure all your resolutions are set on high. Or a PDF. If you're outsourcing uh, your image from 
are exporting your image from Photoshop, you can save it as a PDF file. Let's just save this as my image. And I'll show you this really quick. Because it's going to show you a couple dialog boxes. Um, the setting you chose and save Adobe Dialog can override settings and blah, blah, blah. Okay, just click OK for this. And this is going to pop up over here. It popped up on my other screen, but I brought it over so you could see it. On the Adobe PDF preset, make sure you set it to high quality print, okay? And you don't necessarily have to preserve the Photoshop editing capabilities, as you see under this options tool right here. Um, you can, but I don't need it. And on your compression, you have 300 set here. This is if you want to downsample. As long as this says 300, you're fine. Just make sure this says at least 300, and you're good to go. Save your PDF uh, to wherever you want it, and voila. Send that file to me. I'll be happy uh, as can be. So anyway, that was just a quick tutorial on how to create uh, print-ready images in Photoshop. Now, if you're an illustrator, that's a whole different thing. Those are vector graphics. Honestly, those are even better than Photoshop files, but a lot of people have Photoshop, so I wanted to make this helpful for those who had Photoshop. So anyway, my name's Eric uh, at Breakout Creative Company. Check us out online at breakout.co. Check out our blog for more tutorials and tips and uh, information at uh, breakout.co slash blog. That's, again, breakout.co, all lowercase, slash blog. All right, see you later.